Well, hello everybody. Welcome. It is Thursday. I am Dawn. This is Reap the Core by Dawn. Welcome. Come on in. Say hello. If you're new to my page, be sure to tell me where you're watching from. We like to give you a nice warm hello. welcome. We are working on a 14 inch wreath base with 18 ties, 10 on the bottom, 6 on the top. The inside is considered the top. The outside, of course, is the bottom. We have our little firefighter attachment. He comes with the legs. He comes with the hat. And he comes with his little um, hatchet. And then I have this sign here, which is a wooden sign. It's a 5 by 12 and it says, thank you for your service. Has the fire logo here. And then we are using our red with the black border mesh. These are cut at 30 inches each. There are 18 of them. And then we are using this dash check plaid. Um, to me, I, it reminded me of a ladder, so that's why I chose this one. So we're using this one here. Then we have this fireman themed one, firefighter themed one, and it's got all different sayings on it. It says fire, search and rescue, hero, firefighter, thank you, brave, proud, love, uh, fearless, protector, strong, things like that. And then it just repeats over and over. So we have that one. These are cut at 13 inches. All the uh, ribbons are cut at 13 inches. We have this red with the black Swiss dots. And then we have another firefighter themed in a black with the logo on it, the, um, the fire department logo. And then this says driven by courage, hometown hero, and fueled by fire. And then that repeats throughout the pattern. So those are the four ribbons that we're going to be using. So this is, in the back here, I've got my triple uh, collapsible mesh roller. I've got a bunch of ribbons and, and some mesh on that. I was making some bows. Um, so this is the double one. It's a stationary. And this holds two rolls of ribbon, or mesh, and several rolls of ribbon. So you can cut two rolls at the same time if you need to. So if you had two different colors, you could cut them out really quick and get it over with and be done in no time. Cuts down on all of that. So again, those come from Susie's Reefs and Bangs, and they are all handmade. Her son is the one that builds them and makes them, and they are made right here in the USA in Mississippi. All right, so there's three. So we are done with this for now. We're going to do a regular ruffle with these. I'm starting on the top, and I'm going to put these in and give them a twist. I want to spread out these ruffles so that they fill in and then we're going to put our ribbon in with it. Hello, how are you? I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. Alright, so we're going to go with, let's just go with this one first. So I'm putting the red Swiss dot with the black two and a half. And then I'll probably go back and add in some um, tubing. I didn't um, get that out before I started. I should have, but I didn't. So I will put some tubing in here probably. So we're just going to continue around the top here. I should have moved these. Let me move this. Oh, I'm going to put that right there. Move my ribbons so that I can ruffle up my mesh right here. So I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments. I didn't see them scrolling. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Please share this for me. I would appreciate that. What's everyone doing today? Trying to stay cool, I'm sure. Or dry if you're in those areas that are getting that heavy rain. My God, did you see Kentucky? That's awful. They had showed people that were, well, they didn't show them. They're talking about people standing on their countertops, trying to stay out of the water and waiting for help. And gosh, I can't even imagine. So we'll alternate these. We're going to put the black with the natural color red. So 
So Susan is running a little late tonight. She's helping out her neighbor. Getting ready for your first three-day fair. Well, good luck. I wish you the best. I hope it's a sellout. Is it an indoor or outdoor? Probably indoor if it's three days. I wish mine was indoor, but... I want air conditioning. Now, it's, it was over 100 here today. But it is supposed to be cooler on Saturday because we're expecting that rain, but not by much. You know, when they say cooler, oh, it is an outdoor. Oh, I feel for you. I don't mind the, the outdoor ones in the in the fall. I have one that I do in October. It's down on our main street in our little town. And that one's it's, it's a really good one. And the weather's usually pretty nice. Now, last year we had really bad wind. Hopefully we don't have to repeat that this year because that was a mess. <laughs> Messed up my tent. My husband had to fix that. So this is the first time we are using it since then. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay. We do have more blocks to hold it down this time. So if you just joined, we're putting these in here at the top, and I'm putting the ribbons in with the mesh. Hopefully that'll save us some time. I've got my mesh cut at 30 inches, and we're just doing a regular ruffle using this red with the black border mesh. This is a 10 inch mesh. That was it. Alright, that's the top. Put one last ribbon in there and we can move on to the bottom part. <clears throat> You're doing both too? Yeah, that's always a good thing to do. And I, I, you know, I made up a little card that I can um, put in my shop. Hey, everybody. Sorry I missed any of you. Um, I made up a little card that I can put in my, on my table that tells them all the different things they can do with bows, you know. All the different places they can use them. Because most people are just thinking, oh, wreath, package, you know. They're not thinking about, oh, I can put that on my mailbox, or I can put that on my banister, or, you know, all those different places. So I made up a little card that tells them, hey, you know, this is where you can use all these bows. Think out, you know, if they're not just for wreaths. Hey, Marion. Alright, this is our last one going in. So again, we did 30 inch ruffles, regular ruffle, all the way around. Our ribbons are cut at 13 inches. We're using four different ribbons, two, two and a half, two, one and a half. We alternate our patterns. There's our base. There we go. That is our base. We're going to put that on, or put the uh, attachment on, but let All me right. show you this one. Let me get this out of the way. Um, let's see. Let's put our sign on, and then we'll put our firefighter in. All right, this is going to go right across the center. Because it is a big sign. Oh, you're very welcome, honey. 
I'm going to get my weaving needles out. I sell these in my shop. If you've not seen these before, they come in two different sizes. You get the three and a half or you can get the six inch. You get a pack of five of either one. <clears throat> and the shipping's included. So I'm going to take this. And if you struggle with putting signs or attachments on, these are a lifesaver, guys. You need them. Because it goes through just this quick. Go right down through all your mesh and everything. Hit your frame. Pull that wire down and you're done. Just that quick. I can get all of these done in the time it would take me to get one in there without the needle. So you just want to make sure your sign's where you want it. Pull your wires out. I stapled these to the back of my sign. It is a wooden sign. And then just go right down through. You don't have to move your mesh. Don't have to do anything. Go right through the mesh and everything. Just make sure your wires or your um, ribbons are out of the way. That one has to go that way. Because you don't want your ribbons tucked up underneath the sign if at all possible. Pull them out. And then go right back down in there. So you want to make sure that you're hitting that frame because you want to tie your sign to the frame. There we go. Right there. So now all my wires are on the back and all I have to do is go around and wrap them around the metal frame. So just take and wrap them once or twice. And then I'll go back after the live and I'll make sure that they're all on there snug. And finish it off that way. If I can get my fat fingers in there. I'm hitting a crossbar, so there's one. And there's two. I can usually do it without looking at it, but... So again, just don't pull your sign down too tight. Just keep it nice and snug. You don't want to smash everything. The sign just says, thank you for your service. Let me scooch in some more. And then it has the fire uh, emblem on it. Thank you. It was the only one I had. There are other signs um, out there. I think um, Lee has some. Brenda has some. I'm sure anybody who makes signs can make one that could probably say just about anything on them. And a couple of them probably do customs if you have somebody who's a firefighter that maybe they you have a you know their house number or their engine number or you know something like that that you want to put on it but I just have this one that says thank you for your service so this would make a great gift for someone alright so that's on there we'll go back and fix all of our ribbons at the end all right, so this little guy has got his pants or his legs, and he's got the yellow reflective. Um, I'm cutting the tag off of the back. Not that it's going to be seen, but I just don't want it on there. I think mine's a little wonky because he kind of wants to go to one side. Even his shoes point to the one side. But he has these little shoes or boots. Um, the little reflective tape on his pockets and his legs. And it's also on the hat. It comes with the wires already attached. I hit a, a little bit of glue on there to keep those wires from going in and out. Because the wires go into his legs. It's supposed to help keep them straight. But in this case it's not really helping. This leg is stuffed more than this leg too. I don't know, his pants are not attached to his shoes, so, or boots, excuse me, I keep saying shoes. Alright, so these wires are not very long, so we're going to go 
right in here and we're going to go in between our mesh just like we did the soldier last week this time let's try and keep them straight I'm gonna separate these wires and I'm gonna make sure that I go on either side of the frame or at least a ring of the frame there's one this one in there. You gotta be careful because your mesh will stick to them and snag. So we want to avoid that. Put that one in there. I want to keep them straight. That's not straight. It's got wide hips. It must be a relative of mine. <laughs> Let me just try and get this one in here first. Well, it doesn't want to go on that frame. There we go. Is that where I want it? That's where I want it. All right, so I'm going to twist off this wire once just to hold it in place so I can get this other one in without it coming back out. All right, so now we're going to go and do this side. Lay that mesh down. Come on, get in there. Yeah, that's better. And now we're going to go on this side. Now, if I had been smart, I would have just taken these off and used my own uh, wire. And then it probably would have been a little easier to put it in there because the wire was not as thick. So you're not going to see too much of his top up here, the pants, but all right, there. Let me get that twisted around. See, this mesh is already sticking to my ribbons. There we go. Let's make sure he's not crooked. Well, his legs are crooked. I mean, his feet are crooked. Yeah, he's off a little to the side, so we're going to have to fix that. But I'll do that later. Okay. Got his helmet and his hatchet. And again, these come with wires already attached. Hello, welcome. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this, I would really appreciate it. All right, that one's done. So yeah, this these wires do not look like they're gonna be long enough. I'm gonna take these out and use my own. These are good to keep, though, to use for hangers on grapevines if you don't use them on um, your wreath or on your attachment. Take them off and save them for um, hangers because they're thick enough that they make good hangers. All right, let's take our 26 gauge floral wire in silver. Like that. Catching up on. So I'm using my needle to get this wire through. I'm going through the same hole they had in there. All right, I'm going right down in between my ribbon here with this first one. And again, I'm gonna make sure that this wire gets wrapped around the frame and not the mesh or anything like that. But it's always fun. All right, that one, I should have cut that off too. All right, let me get this fixed here. 
I should have cut off my ties down here on the or up on the top. I should have thought about that. I was thinking about tubing and I you know I can just put the tubing at the top and I mean at the bottom and not the top. Because most of it's not going to be seen anyway because of all this stuff up here. So I should have taken these off. All right, so there he is with his helmet. So I'm going to have to move his legs over this way just a little bit, I think. Yeah, he's not quite centered. So I will do that off the live. I won't make y'all watch that. And then we have his little hatchet here. That will probably go right here. And I'm going to probably go over the sign with it, like right there, like just a quarter or a corner of the sign right here. And they already put these wires in it. But I don't think I want the, I want it going this way. See, they have it so that it goes straight like this. I was thinking I want it to lay down. So I was going to fold my wires down which this is going to need a little shot of glue here because it doesn't look like they did a very good job it looks like they put let's see what they make it out of while we can it looks like it's uh, not quite cardboard it looks like kind of cork it's bendable and they put that in there and they glue it all together so this would go down again just like the others I wanted it to lie sideways and not straight up and down. Let's make a bow real quick. Let's get that done before the live is over. Alright, I'm going to try to leave that right there and hopefully y'all can okay. still see it. So we're going to use all the same ribbons that we had in the wreath and then we have a solid red and a solid black just in case. I'm going to start with my two and a half inch black firefighter one. I know, I love it too. Alright, so I'm doing about a 12 inch tail. It's probably going to be a little too long because it'll cover him up, but that's alright, we can always cut it down. I like to do a five and a half inch loop. You do what you like to do, but I prefer a five and a half. To me, it makes a difference. If you struggle with the bows and they just don't look right, try a five and a half. It makes a bit of a difference to me. And some other people have said it does to them as well. So we're going to do four loops. That's two on each side. All right, so now I want to use the solid red in between. All right, so I'm just going to do one loop on each side with that solid red. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is going to be um, four loops, two on each side. These are now at four inches. Or four and a half, sorry, four and a half. We're at four and a half. So we're doing four. Y'all, Nathan is graduating this coming school year. Oh my gosh, I can't even stand it. The child is going to, he's a senior. They start school a couple weeks now. I'm going to go down there um, week after next and hang out with them for a few days while mom and dad go off on their anniversary. So I get to hang out with all five of them for almost a week by myself. Looking forward to that. Now I'm not doing anything with these being um, going in the wrong direction right now. Um, but you can do it by hand to make it so that they're not upside down or backwards. Or you can take and twist it around one time on that side and it'll put it in the right direction. And I will probably do that. So you want to twist it right at the base. 
Yeah, the three older kids all have jobs now, so they have to get shuttled to work. Well, Nathan drives. The others have their permits, but they aren't driving yet. Um, so they have to be shuttled to work when, well, Nathan can't get them all there and pick them up, and he's got his own job to worry about and stuff that he does. And then there's two littler ones. They're not little, but younger ones. So I'll be hanging out with them. It's not like they really need babysitters. They're all pretty capable. But um, Grandma's going to go and hang out with them. I'm going to use my black. And we'll finish it off with a solid red, I think, maybe. I might use, or no, we're going to use the Swiss dot. Hey Carrie, how are you honey? Alright, so we're going to do one loop of this on each side. I had some of this extra, or did I use it? So I'm going to go a little bit smaller, so this one is now four inches. Four. Make sure they're about the same here. Gas. What are you talking about gas? Alright, and then our last one is going to be this black, or the red with the black Swiss dots. And we're going to do two loops on each side and then a center loop. And these are going to be about three and a half inches. And this wreath is listed in my shop if anyone's interested. I did list it in my shop just in case. It does not have a picture. It says coming soon. But the listing is up. All right, so there's our four loops. Well, oh, see, it. no matter how hard I try, I still go over my time. And then I'm going to take a piece about six inches, or no, not six inches, sorry, eight inches. All right, there we go. There's our center. Zip tie. I'm going to use a zip tie. Get another zip tie. I want to move my zip tie over to that little divot. Pull my locking part around to the back. Give it a tug. Make sure my ribbons stay where they're supposed to. And now I'm going to put this zip tie Alright. There's our bow. Let me pull this tighter. And then we're just going to move our ribbons where we want them. Get your tie or your tails down front where they belong. Thank you for sharing. I do appreciate that very much. So. All right, I'm going to dovetail these and we'll put this on and we'll be done. So 
So I want to thank you all for hanging out with me tonight and for sharing my live. I do appreciate it. Thank you for all your well wishes for this weekend. I will keep you updated. Hopefully, I will have time this time to do a live and I'll have good internet. Um, and I will show you my setup and I will um, let you see how it's going too. It's always fun to be able to share that stuff so others can see and get ideas for their own. All right, so there we go. There is our bow. Let's put this on here and let y'all go to bed. I will fix him later. He's not sitting properly. So I will fix that. But I'm going to take this zip tie. I want to get my locking part over closer to the center. I'm going to take this right down through here where my tie is. And I'm not going to, um, I want to make sure I go around a uh, the part of the frame though, not, um, there it is right there. I want to go around that frame so, because otherwise it'll come right off like the little guy did here earlier. So put that around the frame. I'm not going to zip tie that all the way on because I still have to move him and the, this might be in the way. So I'm just going to set that right there so you can see it. His hatchet will go over here, but I'm going to have to um, fix that uh, where it's coming off on this side right here. And then I'm going to put it down so that it's laying flat and not up this way. Because the, the way they have the wire, they have it going the opposite direction of where I want it to go. So I'm going to put that there. So there's our little firefighter. All right. You guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the rest of your night and the, enjoy the rest of your week. Um, don't forget about your weaving needles. You can get those at um, my shop, reapthecorebydawn.com. Be kind to one another. I will see you soon. See you next week, if not sooner. Good night.